Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 10. In this segment, we're going to go back to the modified series after our not so good truck debut, but hey, I did well in qualifying. I don't fucking know. Anyways, back to the modifieds. We're going to do our next race at the Dodge Raceway Stadium for the Dodge Racing 150. Let's go. Also, I have a schedule conflict because this also coincides to a qualifying session for the next truck race, but. I'd rather do this modified race, and I guess I'll just start last in the next truck race. Hooray! Ladies and gentlemen, EA Sports welcomes you to Maitland, Florida for the running of the Dodge Racing 150. Thanks for joining us again as the Dodge Raceway Stadium continues to bring you some of the most exciting short track racing from the NASCAR Featherlight Modified Series. We're just moments away from the start of tonight's racing action. And just like that, I get another pole position in Modifieds. Hooray! So here we go, 37 laps around the Dodge Raceway Stadium. This is one of the coolest tracks in this game. This is the shortest track in this game at under a half mile. In fact, I think this is like a third mile or just over, like 0.36 or something. I'm not sure, but um, oh god. But uh, yeah, there's that. This is really, I don't know, this is a cool track. It's a stadium. There's a football field on the infield. And the pit lane is underneath the grandstands on the outside of the track. Like I said, this is definitely one of my uh one of my favorite fantasy tracks in this game. So you see it's you know, so goddamn short. You know, lap times of eleven seconds and shit. So yeah. Also, I definitely need to win this race because I'm, you know, in a car sponsored by Dodge. In a track sponsored by Dodge. So, we need to do Dodge a heckin' proud and win this race. Although, I'm not driving particularly well right now. So, that might be easier. Well, that's absolutely easier said than done. But, you know, you know, you know. I just need to stop driving like absolute fucking garbage trash and also opening the bottom lane up like that. There we go. Just need I need to take like tighter corner entries basically, is what I need to do. Is this game hard? Uh yeah, kinda. I mean I'm playing on legend difficulty. I'm in a three star car out of five and well, I'm not the fastest car on the track, that's for goddamn sure. As you see, everybody up on my ass. It also depends on the track, like, you know. Those couple races earlier in the season where I absolutely fucking dominated at, a uh, in the modifies at Old Spice and, uh, Nazareth, but, you know. Then there's other tracks like this where I'm simply just trying to hold my position. This is also going to be a really short race as well, since, you know, like I said, very short track, 37 laps, so yeah. I don't think this race is even going to last 10 minutes. Looks like dodgy competition, God damn it! <laughs> Beautiful. I love shitty puns. Except I actually do. Uh, here we, we've reached the part in the pile where, like... Sometimes people will swing to the outside to try to try to make a move on me, and then they get shuffled back. And the nuke challenger approaches, and that just re repeats itself until my pace slows down enough to where they can actually pass me on the outside. Or if I fuck up, and Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? Yeah, for if I just fuck up majorly and open up the bottom lane, which would be fucking just. That would be fatal if I did that. Because I would probably fall all the way back to last. Oh, here we go. I've slowed down enough. They're now able to pass me on the outside. We've just reached halfway as well, so... Hooray. Oh, one car has gotten around me. A very patriotic car as well. America! So I'm not going to get a win for Dodge, unfortunately. At least I got a pole, so there's that. <laughs> Is that good enough for you guys? Got a pole on the track and car you sponsor. I 
I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. Hold on to the bottom. Oh, here comes Captain Old Spice. Here we go. leader is just fucking if that's a you know if that's any indicator on how slow my pace actually is the leader is fucking checked out it's already two seconds ahead and that shows how slow my pace is compared to these guys how much I'm holding them up so uh yeah there's that it's okay I just got 12 laps to go That's all I have to do. Just 11 more laps. Without giving up the bottom lane. Go, go, go. Oh god, I'm getting dizzy. Quickly! Short ass straights. Accelerate for half a second and turn for like five years. Well, the straights aren't that short around here, I guess, but still. It's like an even smaller and also lower banked Bristol. It's looking too hard. Should ram them instead of dodging them, but it, this ain't ram tough. I ain't, I ain't in no truck. Oh, someone's out of the race, I just realized. Not sure who and when it happened. I guess we'll, you know, find that out at the results screen. Oh shit, apron. Almost lost it. And about to lose second place. And there we go. Alright, down to third with four laps remaining. Still on the podium though, which is really nice. I know NASCAR doesn't give a shit about podiums, but I do. So therefore. Never mind, because <laughs> that was a shit entry into turn three. So, yeah. Oh, and tire wear. By the way, tire wear slowing me down even more. You know, ah, breaking too hard now. Okay, final lap. Come on. Come on, can I hold on to a top five at least? Oh, come on, get that exit, and... Okay, top five, got it. Whew, that was intense. I don't know how the fuck I managed to, uh... Hold on to a top five, but there we go. There we go. Well, that was a crazy one. But anyways, Patterson takes the win of this race by three seconds over Dempsey. End up leading 20 laps, so I just missed out on the uh, bonus points for most laps led, unfortunately. Oh well, it's fine. Still got fifth from pole, and I think where's the uh, where's my championship rivals? There's Myers, all the way he went from second to 16th. And okay, well Glover or Giles was the guy that retired after 30 laps. Where the fuck is? The other guy. Oh, Foster, he finished right behind me. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. That was the Dodge Raceway Stadium. Really, uh, really cool track. Oh, that was neutral in that race. No hero points, no villain points. Why do I get the disappointed cutscene for finishing fifth? It's a top five. I should be celebrating. Come on. Come on, game. Come on. I have two new messages. So you're the new kid on the block, huh? Well, I've seen my share of hot shots come through this series, and I think it's time to settle this on the track. I've got a great ride for you that's on the line if you think you can beat me. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? That's Destiny knocking, baby. And you're going to answer the door at the end of the season. You keep driving the way you're driving. Ace is great. i just like to point that out. Also, oh boy, I got a fucking showdown challenge from Jeff Gordon. Oh god, that's a thing that's going to happen in the next segment. 
Anyways, here's the updated modified point standings. I have the lead back, yay, by six points over Foster, and Myers has fallen back quite a bit. He's now 49 behind me, so uh, it's now turned briefly into a two-car race. So, yeah, awesome and stuff. And because why not, let's look at the uh, poll awards. I have four poles in eight races in modified championship. Awesome. So yeah, that'll conclude this segment. So next time on NASCAR 05, we'll be doing the next truck race. And then the segment after that, I think we'll be doing that head-to-head -head against Jeff Gordon. Now that I just remembered how scheduling works in this game. Anyways, so stay tuned for more trucks.